Hey everyone, this is Cooking with Karen season two. Oh, wait a second. Actually, not Cooking with Karen anymore. We are calling this show now Plant-Based Made Simple. So we're gonna take traditional recipes that you know and love and make them plant-based. So today, we're gonna to be doing mashed potatoes, but we're gonna do them plant-based. So we're gonna call it a garlic mashed potato mix-up. How's that? All right, now it's time to talk about the twist. We're doing a garlic mashed potato mix-up, and that's because we're putting a twist on it. What's our twist? Well, it's a cruciferous vegetable. Now you're gonna say, first of all, Karen, what's a cruciferous vegetable? It's cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale, and the famous cauliflower. Okay, we're gonna be putting this cauliflower in, and there's a lot of reasons why. It's not just because it's actually gonna make it a little low calorie and not as starchy, but when we hide this vegetable in there, we're getting things like folate, vitamin K, and actually, cruciferous vegetables have anti-cancer phytochemicals. So it's really a win-win for our garlic mashed potato mix-up. Now, let's start cooking. Here's our ingredients. Now we're gonna start with obviously potatoes. My favorite potatoes to use are either Yukon Gold potatoes or Red Bliss potatoes. And the reason why I use those is because they have a thin skin. I like to keep the skin on my potatoes. First of all, it's, it's a lot easier in the kitchen because you don't have to peel potatoes, right? But there's a much better benefit for that. It's because it's higher in fiber and it also, also has a lot more nutrients in it. So it's good to keep your skins on if you can. Then we're gonna use a head of cauliflower. Now this is our twist, right? We said we're gonna put that cruciferous vegetable in there and it's gonna be great. Um, it's really gonna actually just boost our nutrition. Then of course, we want creaminess. I use a quarter cup of cashews. These are raw cashews, not roasted or uh, salted, but just raw cashew. But if you don't wanna go ahead and get those nuts, you could actually use a little plant-based milk uh, to find the consistency that you're looking for. Then we've got four to five cloves of garlic. I'm a garlic lover, my, families are, my family is garlic lovers, we use the five cloves, but just use whatever you think for your family is gonna work for you. A teaspoon of salt, my preference, Himalayan pink salt. It's got 84 trace minerals in it, so if we're gonna actually put salt in our food, let's get the best nutrition possible, right? Then we have a teaspoon of something called chicken-style seasoning. This is almost like a broth mix. It's kind of like, you know, a bunch of herbs put together to give it like almost like a chickeny kind of chicken broth flavor. We're gonna add that in for some flavor. And then of course, we're gonna put two tablespoons of nutritional yeast flakes. What are nutritional yeast flakes, you ask? Nutritional yeast flakes are actually a food condiment. And you use them in a lot of plant-based cooking to give like a creamy, cheesy, nutty kind of flavor. You don't wanna miss out on the nutritional yeast flakes because they are amazing. And then of course, Last but not least, when we mix all this together, we want the right consistency. You may want to add a little bit of plant-based milk at this time, if you want, just to have the right consistency that you like your mashed potatoes with. So, you are gonna just cube your potatoes up. You know the smaller you make cubes, the faster they're gonna cook, right? So you're gonna cube those and throw them in some boiling water and just let them boil until they're soft, right? So then you're gonna add your cauliflower to a pot. Put some water on top. You're gonna to add the garlic and actually the raw cashews. Now if you're using milk, don't add the milk in right now because you don't need to at all because we're actually gonna drain that water out when we're done. So we're gonna let that cauliflower soften while our potatoes are boiling. Once that's done, we're gonna actually just drain our potatoes, stick them in a nice big uh, bowl because we're gonna have to mash them up. But before we do that, we're gonna take our cauliflower, drain the cauliflower with the garlic and the cashews, and we're gonna stick that right into a blender. And at that time, we're just gonna add all our seasonings. We've got that chicken style seasoning, the nutritional yeast, and that little bit of salt. We'll add that in there and we're just gonna blend it up. It's gonna make a cauliflower puree, but this is gonna be the creaminess to our mashed potatoes. 
So go back to your bowl, mash up your potatoes just to the consistency that you like, and then we're gonna add our cauliflower in. We're gonna turn that in, mix that up, and there you have it. You're gonna have the best garlic mashed potato mix-up you've ever made. All right, I don't think I mentioned this, but mashed potatoes are my all-time favorite side dish. I can't wait to taste these. You will never miss any dairy in this. It's so creamy. You can taste the cauliflower, by the way, which is a great hidden secret. These are delicious, perfect for any holiday, any family dinner, anything like that. You will just love them, and they're so simple. Okay, now it's your turn. You need to go home and make this dish. Garlic mashed potato mix-up. So simple, so nutritious, and delicious. Don't forget to hit our like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel, DIY Health. I'll see you next Friday on Plant-Based Made Simple.